I've been retired from work, uh, I don't know, 33 years. And I think of those 33, 33 years, I spent most of them here. We come on Wednesdays from two to four and we're docents. We show the home to people coming in from the street. I became a board member in 1982. Uh, the actual beginning of the uh, historical society, I think, it was 1980. Well, number one is to preserve the uh, historical house, for it was the uh, first hospital in South San Francisco. In fact, the only hospital between San Mateo and San Francisco. The hospital was in 1906. The house was built in 1905 by Dr. Plymeyer. Well, Dr. Plymeyer came from West Virginia, if I remember correctly, him and his brother. After they were here a uh, while, they started, he, Dr. Plymeyer started the practice and that the house originally was on the far corner. And in 1915, Plymeyer passed away. He died very young. He was only 39 years old. But in the years that he was here in South City, in the 30, his 39 years of life, he was the first coroner of San Mateo County. And he was the uh, first president of the San Mateo County Medical Society. And of course, he was one of the better known doctors in South San Francisco. And he's the one that started the Plymeyer Hospital across the way. After his death, the wife sold the property to Dr. Dolly. Dr. Dolly had the house moved to the present location so he could build the new South San Francisco General, which was opened, I believe, in 1918, just in time for the influenza, the big outbreak in 1919. The Historical Society got the house in 1997. The only thing original to the house was the piano in the other room. The, what was left in the house when we inherited there was very little, very little, and it was pretty shabby condition. But when we started collecting and everything has been donated to the society, and we try to keep it in the early 1920s, 1910, uh, we couldn't decorate it like it was a hospital, you know, but uh, with the furniture of the 1920s, 1900s, it's a little bit easier. And we've been lucky to get a lot of people that donated some really historic items. While the men played cards, we'd sit in the corner by the, the stove and it kept us warm. And it's the same stove that they have here in the house. And we became great scrounges. And it'd be surprising what people will give you. I mean, you know, look at the pump organ and everything, it's just, and the, the clock. Well, you know, it was, it was a group effort. We just all, Roy and I had fun doing it. And then we have some very talented ladies that can decorate the house, and, and they put it together, and, and this is how it is now. If we count the number of days or hours or days or months or years of labor, I can't tell you how much in dollars. Some of the ladies claim that, they, well, they won't go upstairs by themselves or um, they have an uncomfortable feeling when they're in the house alone. We had a ghost in the house, spirits. We've all felt Mrs. Schwartz at one time or another. And we think she's happy now because we've, her home is lovely. We think it's Mrs. Schwartz and she's the one that gave us the house, the historical society. And she must like it here because she stays here all the time. But one day, one of the docents was here and she was sitting on the steps waiting for another girl to come. And Margie and them had left. And all of a sudden, Ginny heard noise. So she said, she called them and somebody said, hello, hello. And so she said, I ran in the house. I looked around, there was nobody in the house. And they came back about a half hour later. So there was no one in the house. Well, there was a fire museum here, and um, 
about two or three years ago, we had to close it down because uh, the group that was taking care of the fire museum dwindled down to four and we had to close it. And we have the uh, fire engine, the 1915 Seagram fire engine. So right now the engine is sitting in a, one of the stations covered up and someday they hope to, or we hope to get it running and uh, start a fire museum again. One of the things we did to raise money for the house, uh, we were selling the stepping stones at $125 each. And uh, people would put their names, date of birth and whatnot on it. So you, most of the stones you see around the house now are South San Francisco residents. But uh, now we run out of space, so we can't sell anymore. And we can't find a place to manufacture them anymore. Well, I don't know, I'm a history buff, and I think it's the new generations coming up. They should know the history of the city. And uh, when you have something tangible that you can associate with, I think it makes it a little more important for young people to know about it. Because time goes by so quickly and you lose all the real, real things about the town. Time passes just too fast. And it's nice to remember how it used to be.